Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a review and mini tutorial for y'all today on the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette, which just look at this beauty. So pretty. So I'm going to do like I normally do in my review videos. We will talk about the pricing. We'll look at the packaging. We'll look at some swatches. I'll talk about the formula. And then I will show you a little mini tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. I did add a little bit of my highlighter on my inner corner, so I didn't show that in the tutorial, but everything else about this look, I show you how I got it. And then I'll just share my final thoughts at the end. So let's get to it. So the price of this palette is $54, and I think you can pretty much purchase it anywhere Urban Decay is sold. So Urban Decay's website, Ulta, Sephora, Macy's, if your Macy's carries Urban Decay. Um, as far as what you get in here, you get 12 shadows that are 1.2 grams each, and the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It just like catches the light. It's such a cool look. It feels nice and sturdy, so love that. You do get um, a double-sided brush in here, and it's pretty nice. It's like a, you know, synthetic type of a brush. It's kind of like a blendy sort of thing on one side and then a smudgy sort of a thing on the other side, so, you know, that's a nice little touch. It has a nice size mirror on here. I don't want to blind you, but there is a huge mirror there, and this is what the palette looks like. It's like a very, you've probably already seen it if you've watched other videos, but it's a very um, warm toned, neutral, all matte except for one shadow palette. This one has just a little bit of a sheen to it, but everything else is matte and it's very warm toned. So that's what you're getting there. Now for some swatches, we're gonna start on the top left side of the palette. This is Blow, Nudie, Commando, Tempted, Instinct, and lethal. That one got a little weird because it's on my knuckle. I don't know why it has little spots in the middle of it, but it doesn't look like that on the eyes. So just ignore the weird random spots from the knuckle swatch. Bottom row we have pregame, extra bitter. I love that one. I think that's kind of like a favorite of a lot of people. This one is faith, lockout, magnet, is that gray one? And then blackjack. Blackjack is not the greatest black, but I mean, it works okay, but it's just, it's a little patchy and a little bit dry and not the greatest black, but all really pretty colors. These over here, I do have to build them up pretty well, um, but they're just lighter colors. It's just kind of the nature of the sort of shades that they are. As far as the formula goes on these shadows, I'm starting to like it a lot more the more that I use this palette. And I think it's one of those kind of, you have to get past the initial first layer sort of a situation because I noticed this with my Naked Smoky and I thought it was just the shadows and I'm thinking it was probably the same thing and I just didn't give it enough um, attention and really just like commit to it very much. But I noticed that the mattes weren't blending super well and that's what I noticed the first couple of times I used this palette. But the more I've gotten into it, they're now blending really well. And they were always pigmented, but they've gotten more pigmented. They're just blending better. They're just performing better now that I've gotten down into the shadows more. So I think it's one of those top layer kind of things because now they're pigmented, now they're blending well, they wear really well, they were always wearing well, but I just find that overall, they're getting better. They are a little bit powdery, they pick up some, um, or they kick up, they pick up and they kick up some product in the pan and also a little bit of fallout on the face, but nothing major. Um, so I'm starting to really like the formula more, but if you got this palette and you've kind of experienced that, that it's that sort of top layer situation, let me know. And let me know if you notice the, th the same thing with your um, Naked Smoky palette. Because I don't remember that about my old Urban Decay palettes, like my older ones, but I've had them for so long, so maybe I forgot, or maybe it's kind of a new way they're doing things. I'm not really sure. So let me know what you've experienced, but that's been my experience, is that now that I'm getting into it more, I really like the formula a lot. So. That's my thought on that. So now we're gonna get into the tutorial. So I've already applied some eye primer. So first I'm gonna get some Attempted and Faith on a Beauty Junkies Pro Blending Brush. And I'm just gonna do a little combo of those two and apply that into my crease and transition area and blend this really, really well. Should have applied this before doing that blending shade but I forgot so we're gonna do it right now I'm gonna apply some of this Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow stick in Trespassing Taupe 
just to my lids as my base. I just find, I don't know, having something for the colors to stick to really kind of intensifies them. And I, them, <laughs> intensifies them. And I find that pretty much across the board with, you know, any shadows. So I'm gonna give these a little bit of a sticky base. Now over that and right at the base of my lash line, I'm gonna apply some of Lethal. And I'm using a Delium Tools 772 brush for this. This one's pretty pigmented, so I would say, you know, kind of tap off your brush, dab, and then blend. Find that that works best. Now I'm gonna get some of extra bitter on a Smith 230 brush, and I'm going to apply that right above the kind of burgundy shade, just basically in between the crease colors and that base color, and really just kind of overlap and blend really well. Then if you wanna go back in with that purple shade, just to kind of seamlessly transition the colors. I just find that kind of going back and forth, like that's really how you make a good blend with shadows, is just kind of the back and forth of the two colors. For my brow bone, I'm gonna use a little bit of pre-game. This one's a little bit yellowy for me to use as um, my brow bone, but the other color is, blow is, a little bit like it's got a little bit of a sheen so I pretty much just have to use this one it works but I just like a lighter brow bone for liner I'm going to use my Kat Von D tattoo liner in trooper on my upper lash line and I'm going to use this physicians formula shimmer strips custom eye enhancing eyeliner trio for blue eyes on my lower lash line this one is pretty much mostly done so hopefully I have enough to line my eyes with. And then over that liner on my lower lash line, I'm gonna get some of Faith on a Delium Tool 714 and just apply that right over the top. And now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my IT Cosmetics Superhero on my upper lashes. And for my lower lashes, I'm using my IT Cosmetics Tightline Full Lash Length Black Plim Plimer. Black Plimer. Mm hmm. With Peptide Enhancing Serum. Okay, so here's the finished eye look. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back for my final thoughts. So final thoughts on this palette. I love the packaging. I love the look of it. I love the collection of colors. I think it's a great basic palette. I mean, it's called the Ultimate Basics. So it is a great basics palette. It's good to pair with other things. I'm not so much of an all matte shadow look kind of girl. I prefer shimmer or metallics or something. So I'm gonna use this palette mostly paired with other things because that's just my preference. But if you like all matte eye looks, except for that one little, little bit of a sheen shadow, then I think you will love this palette because it's all mattes. So it's great by itself if you love that kind of a look but it's also great to pair with other things. So I'm really enjoying it. All right guys, so that's my review and tutorial on the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. And let me know down below your thoughts on this palette. Let me know kind of like your experience using it. What do you think about it? I love hearing your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.